big week, huge week for oil. Let's take a look, a quick shot at crude. We actually are trading a little bit lower today, but still crude above that $105 mark. Tom? Apple's decision to open its iPhone to third-party software makers is taking aim at the growing business market for handheld devices, such as BlackBerry and Palm and devices running on Windows Mobile. But what does it mean for consumers, for Apple, for the companies that will be jumping in? With us is Apple uh, fan Michael Shulman of Change Wave Research and uh, in uh, New York here with us in the studio, Dick Fontana, CEO of, of DataVits, which makes software for the handhelds. And uh, Dick, let's start with you. What's, what's going on? They're going to open this up. Now, the big announcement by Apple, but are they going to, is this, this is a huge change for Apple. They've been very closed about this. So you think they're going to open up completely for you? Uh, I think they're definitely going to open up a path to the market that's long been needed. Uh, selling software into the wireless space has been a challenge over the last five years. Now your company, and your company is uh, the the, the uh, maker of that very popular documents to go. I mean, you, you run them on Windows Mobile, on BlackBerry soon, and uh, Palm. So, do you think Apple is? Are you going to move that product and other? What do you have planned for the Apple iPhone? Uh, our technology does run on all those platforms. It's easily portable uh, to the iPhone. We've already last night signed up as a third-party developer and have uh, downloaded the uh, SDK, the System Developers Kit. Uh, I guess we have one more obstacle to cover, and that's uh, we have to go see, uh, do they really open the business door for us? We obviously don't want to invest uh, in putting a product together if they're not prepared to uh, put our uh, product into their captive distribution channel. And that's what I hear is that you're not quite sure if it's really a wide open platform or not. That's what Microsoft made their success on and Apple was held back because of it. Well, we, we just don't know until we see. I mean, the fact that there's one path to bringing software to the device uh, means that we have to go get to the keepers of that path and say, uh, give us your contract and uh, Tell uh, us uh, you're going to move our software there. So the announcement's one thing, but the devil in the details is what you're looking for now. Yeah, All right. on, on the other hand, we've done business with Apple. We were one of the first developers of the Macintosh in 1984, and they've always proven to be good business partners. So we have every reason to believe that the path will be open uh, for us, as well as for the thousands of small developers they hope to bring to the party. All right. Apple fan Michael Schulman is in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> we tease I'm you. a bit more than a fan. I, I know you're teasing, <laughs> I know you but are. it's you, all based on hard. It's all based on hard data. Well, you also own you own Apple. First of all, we got to clear that. Make sure on that disclosure. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't own an Apple anymore. There's a few shares held by my kids. Okay, we got that cleared. Now, what do you okay. think of the announcement about opening up for the iPhone? I think it's a terrific announcement that was obscured by some of the, the, the problems in the stock market. I, I watched the, uh, the presentation by Jobs and the staff twice, and what's clear, uh, and, and the, the, the other guest on the show from DataViz says, is they're going to control what's going on in order to protect the consumer experience. The big news is push email, uh, which is the, the heart of what a BlackBerry is. They're taking dead aim at the BlackBerry user in the corporate market. Uh, ChangeWave surveys, my company's surveys show that there's already a uh, significant interest past early adopter stage uh, within corporate markets based on the amount of features that become available. The two questions are how open will it be, meaning how much will be Apple labeled software uh, versus third party software. And then the second question is uh, that third party software, you know, how much good software will come to market? It'll be sold uh, basically through the Apple site. It'll have to conform to Apple standards. It will not be like the Windows world. One of the reasons the Apple user experience is so seamless is because of the extremely tight control on the Mac uh, and which they intend to put onto the iPhone. Bottom line is this sets up a world in about 12 or 18 months from now all the other players are irrelevant. It's the iPhone against the BlackBerry, and and you know Palm and the Windows PDAs. They're all done. They're all history. Smart cell phones are done. It's a computer, an iPhone versus a very sophisticated email PDA, yep. uh, the BlackBerry, yep. and that's that's what's going to happen. All right, Michael Schulman of Washington and Dick Fontana of Datavits here in New York. Thanks both of you for being with us, Cheryl. All right. Well, it's no casual Friday for business news. More on the jobs report, the Fed moves, and the CEO pay hearings. All of that coming up in the next hour of Fox Business. Tonight.